Smith smash. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Jesus. Oh, yeah, very difficult. Very difficult. Oh. Massive call. He does it. Oh, he's yeah. done it. He's there. Oh, what a shot. Welcome back. What a game. Czech Republic wins it. 11-8, 11-8, straight set. Guys, you both went from Romania. What happened? Uh, it was, first of all, it was a tasty old match. Yeah, uh, it, was really good. it was a shock though, yeah. It didn't look like Bobby was firing on all cylinders there. I thought um, it looked a bit like he had a niggling injury, but that's not to take into it from uh, Vise. He played really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a bit shocked to be honest with you because from every Fortnite tournament we've been playing and been involved with, Bobby, she's just been the undoubted champion and it's kind of changed now. I'm kind of happy for V at the same time. He's been very unlucky over the last five or six years that he's been playing Bobby and he deserves, he deserves it and it's a really, really nice spot to, for it to happen because it's in front of his home crowd of 3,000 lads. You know. Steve, like, one thing I noticed as well was the amount of unforced errors at Bobby's. Yeah, um, very created. unusual. I, I think I only counted one one or two from Vich, but from Bobby's, like for the skill level that he has, he should have really been finishing a lot yeah, more. Yeah, he showed it when they met earlier in the championship. Like, uh, Bobby's was really on form. So maybe he picked, like, aggravated that injury he had earlier. Do you think it could have been the crowd or something? It was quite loud in there. Like, you know? it was very loud, yeah. yeah. He looked really shook. Like, he looked shook. Mm. You know, Bob East looked a bit uh, nervous at some stage. I don't know if it was a niggling injury, maybe not, but he didn't look anything like the player. Because I would have expected it to go to three sets as well. Yeah. yeah. It just seemed to be, you know, there's no love lost between these two uh, players. No, you can see it in Beat's celebration at the end. He really <laughs> directs his celebration uh, towards uh, the other side of the court. He showed him. But uh, I think like, a big part of it was uh, Vitz's uh, receptions inside the service line. Like, uh, to take it on the half volley, he's in such a good position then to smash it or spin it. And uh, Bobby's just taking them on the chest outside the service line. And it's harder then to pick your spot when you're further from the net. So. But there was some elements of class with Bobby's as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Taking some ways, 11 8, 11 8. It was straight sets, but. You know, it could have gone either way, well, like, you know, from some of those stuff. Yeah, I, think yeah, I thought the scoreline like flattered uh, Bob East, to be honest. I yeah. It didn't look like it should have been 11 8, 11 8. Like, we made Vince Meadow, to be honest, you know, uh, looking at it as a game, you wouldn't think it was 11 8. It more looked like 11 5, 11 5. Um, but yeah, Bob East got some tasty little spin shots on him. Yeah, 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 but yeah, uh, yeah. overall, he is a worthy champion, I think. Good, good, good. So, that's the end of the singles. And. Um, a shameless plug for the Irish as well in the Division B Championships. Steve-O comes first. Congratulations. That must have been great for both Footnet Ireland and yourselves as well. Yeah, yeah. Major progress for Footnet Ireland to come home with uh, some sort of trophy or silverware. Or crystalware. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely vase. Yeah. 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 Lovely vase. a beautiful vase. Yeah, yeah. So congratulations. Uh, yeah, you no, were only fantastic. set up six years or something, isn't Six years now. Six, six years ago, yeah. we took about yeah. three years off as well. We yeah. yeah. just went on the beer for a while. Three years basically just like yeah. into the chance. So it's nice to bring some silverware home anyway. Yeah. So, okay, so that ends the singles. And uh, we'll move on to the doubles now. And obviously there's Division A and Division B Championship. There's a quick note that the Division B Championship went to Costa Rica, so congratulations to him. Um, and we'll move on to the Division A Championship between Slovakia and Czech Republic. Okay, so we didn't really mention anything about Slovakia in the singles because it came, what was it, sixth? Yeah, yeah, that was a surprise. very, very strange situation. It was in the quarter-final group. Uh, it was in the actual initial group, but South Korea got out. There was a difference between one or two points in it. I think uh, Stupak was the singles player. Stupak is a fantastic player, and you'll probably see him feature a lot in this next match. He's part of the Slovakian mm -hmm. squad, along with Kilik and Brutowski. They're class. Like, they're absolutely great. They're great crack. We've got to know them really well over the last couple Checks of years. They're, they're, really, really sound. they're really, really sound. Unbelievable players as well. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to this one. This one could be the, the match of the tournament because yeah. because I suppose Slovakia will be going for a Czech Republic as well. They're the rivals. Oh yeah, yeah and, and big rivals. Yeah. yeah, big history between the two. Them. Two best teams in the world. Yeah, playing in the finals in the Czech Republic. Slovakia really want to win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And good. they have, you know, 
they have the players to, to win it. They do, yeah, and it's like, you know, there's 10,000 registered players in the Czech Republic, maybe only two or 3,000 in Slovakia, but uh, still over the last, the, la the biggest celebration of football we've seen in 2012 in Nimburg, it was, you know, Czechs were heavy favourites and, and Slovakia bet them, so that'll be weighing on the minds of the Czechs again, because it's in front of a full house, 3,000 lads watching, you know, the drinks are, the drinks are flowing, everyone's well up for this match and, uh, you know, Slovakia, you know, they could, could put it up to them, you know. Good, 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 good. So, final predictions for the doubles. Now, you got it wrong the last time, so you have to get it right this time now, okay. So, who are you going to pick? Uh, it's difficult. Um, I'd probably go alongside of Czech Republic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just after watching the uh, the singles, but it'll yeah, be tight. Might, might it'll be, be tight. Three, three sets. sets. Three sets. It'll, it'll be a lot tighter sets. than the last match. Yeah, last match. Although it was a really good spectacle for some people, it was a damn squid compared to other singles finals we've seen. I think this is really going to show the true uh, nature of the sport and it'll be a great spectacle. So who are you going for? I'll go with Steve. <laughs> so check public, check public. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so let's go to the doubles finals and we'll join you after that for analysis. Okay? Kutowski and Vanka, the flying pig. Rosenberg is a new one. He's a young man. Here we go. We're starting off, are we? I don't know, we're still warming up. Yeah, Rosenberg with his left foot. It's great to have a right footer and a left footer on your team to smash. Then you have an option of setting it to either one. It makes it more difficult for the opposition team to read and position themselves in the same ball. Looks like everybody's ready to go. We're waiting just for the, the correct time. It's important when we talk about Czech football, we might mention a few of the past legends. Peter Wolfen, after the six-time world champion and European champion, also he finally got 20 national titles. Also, Ungerman, Schmeckel, and Karel Blaha. Absolutely amazing players. They're past legends, but we're we're trying to look at one living legend right now, and that's Kutowski. I don't know if he's going to start or not, but the look thing, I'm not sure. Um, but he doesn't look like he's nursing an injury. Sometimes coming into these competitions over the course of three full days of playing foot net, people do, people do carry injuries into, into matches, especially finals, and that's unfortunate. Here. Kutowski starts alongside Clinic. The pig and Rosenberg for Czech Republic. Wow, there we go. There we go. That's around the pole, surely, is it? No, it's been called in. I disagree. Checks it under attack. Wachowski, yes, he's loving it as well. He wants to get inside the minds of the Czechs here. He wants to try and unnerve them because they're going to need everything to go Czech their way. Don't really want Wachowski smashing. Kutowski 
tying his shoelaces. I don't think there's anything wrong with the shoelaces at all. He's just trying to break the momentum without taking the timeout because they might need that timeout later on this set in order to. So he's just playing a tactical game. Even something as simple as that is so important at this level. Straight smash. Can the pig get there? Has he got the fitness? No problem. Great reception from Butowski. Kill it. Went around the hole there. He's just not allowed to do that. Obviously, you might be wondering what happened there. When the ball goes out, it's a timeout called by Slovakia early in the first set. They didn't want that at all. That's just the way it's gone. Yeah, what do you think so far, Steve? What are your thoughts? The score, by the way, is 4 1 to the Czechs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm misinforming you there. But yeah, it's been such a hectic. You know, it must only, the play must have only lasted for what? About three minutes there? Four ones with the Czechs, even though there's a few nice rallies, you know, it just shows you the, the fine margins that come to it. It's quite a short timeout, you would wonder sometimes about the length of timeouts, are usually about 30 seconds to, to one minute, some are longer than others. Usually, teams sometimes wait until the other team is about to serve to call a timeout. Just to, oh, Stupak is in, Kilik is out, big substitution for Slovakia here. Here's the serve from Rosenberg. Stupak, smash. Good luck. Yes. Welcome to the game, Stupak is straight in. 20 points for Slovakia, it's 4-2. They really needed that at that moment. The momentum is with the Czechs at the moment. Let's see what Slovaks can do. Smash serve from Stupak. That's the serve we were talking about earlier. Set from the pig, smash from the Rosenberg. Spin, off the head. Called out. I thought it was out. Yeah. <laughs> they look into me. <laughs> it's difficult for the referees. There's two referees on each side. There is two referees on each side of the net. There's also baseline referees with flags who uh, call it out as well. But uh, yeah, Czechs got that decision. 5 2. The Romanian and Hungarian refs. Oh. He's better than that. Uh, you could see another substitution here. Kilik, you, you expect Kilik to be playing here, but Stupak has preferred from the substitution. Here he's with the smash. Tying the shoelaces again. <laughs> yeah, there must be really bad shoelaces. The crowd, the crowd don't like it. The crowd's starting to boo. They know what he's doing. Taking a timeout very early in the set. You're only one timeout per set. So all they've got now is uh, either to feign an injury or to tie his shoelaces. He'll go down. Not a good set. Good smash. Great stuff. Good smash. Yes! Rosenberg had read it, but just couldn't get his foot on it. He needed that Big bag. Big for, for Slovakia. Lot, obviously a lot of Slovaks here. And it's 7-3, they really did need that. Stupak coming up with the smash serve, I'd imagine. Needs to be in. Just about. right across the court and there's just no returning that. A commanding lead, 8-3. The writing's on the wall for the first set, I would imagine. They might even conserve their energy. Substitution. At substitution, Kilik is back in for Stoop back. I think it's the right choice, personally. But I, yeah. The first set's over. I think they should almost concentrate on the second set here, even though it's 8-3. Psychologically, I think it might be very difficult to see a way back for Slovakia. Loving it. Absolute savage smash. Straight back in. 
Why did they take him off, Steve? I don't understand it. Great introduction again for Gillick. Just like when Stupak came on, he got a point straight away. Just to see if they can come back with this. It's going to be very difficult. Four points down. Here we go, Rosenberg with the smash. Left foot. Oh. Unusual. That is really, really strong. I've never seen an anthem like that from Rosenberg. That might be the chink of the armor that Slovakia desperately needs. All of a sudden, we're at 8 5. It's a massive point. Rosenberg setting up for the smash now. That's out two. That's two mistakes in a, in a row. Rosenberg will not like that. They're going to call a timeout, maybe, no? Yeah. No, they have. They've called a timeout, and that's, that's even worse, I think, to be honest. It's, it's the right choice, but it's just right. It's just playing for everyone to see that Rosenberg messed up twice in a row. I've yet to see him make one mistake in this tournament, never mind two, especially at this stage. They were cruising four or five points up in the first set. All of a sudden, it's eight, six. Now, Slovakia have the serve. Killick's back on the court and now entering his spot. It's very hard at this level to come back from four points. Usually if one of these top teams goes about four points ahead, it's, it's pretty much game over. But now it's 8-6, it's so it's completely game on. Slovak serve. So Rosenberg with the smash again. No. Straight spin. spin. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Tish. That is absolutely Tish. The pig with the spin straight away. No one saw it coming. Get a good smash. Oh, no. The internet. Ten. There's no way back from Slovakia right now. I'd put, my, I'd put the house on it. If I had a house, I would put it on. Slow roll. <laughs> yeah. Remember Jowski. Rosenberg with the, the serve for the set. The crowd loving it. Oh, yes. Jan Vanko with a lovely smash. The pig went up for the block. Oh, yeah, he nearly got it. Yeah, but I, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What did I say? Jan Vanko. <laughs> No, that would be yams. the two yams. That's what I was with smash. I've got Bank on the mind. The triple smash is coming up soon. Oh, that's game. Sorry, said. I mean. <laughs> Sorry. We're getting caught, swept up in the atmosphere. There's 3,100 people. It looks more like 3,500, to be honest. It's at full capacity, and it has been nearly all weekend. Fantastic celebration of Footnet. 24 countries across five continents have been represented. Five continents have been represented. And uh, yeah, it's just been a great celebration of Footnet. It's really, really difficult out there, especially to play against the Czechs anywhere in the world, but especially here in Brno on home soil. You know, this full capacity crowd getting behind them. You know, you need to win the first set to have any chance, really. I, it's going to be very, very difficult. Slovakia to get back into this now after. after do you see a lot of. Uh, sorry, David. You do no, see a lot of uh, top teams score three sets yeah. at the same time because there's just nothing between them. It does seem like the checks have the momentum now. It would be very difficult to see, them, to see the Slovaks come back. But you cannot rule out the likes of Rutowski. See what happens. It's going to be interesting. Rosenberg. Hmm. Rosenberg's not having a great, great match so far. No. I think Slovakia can try and pick on him a bit more. They might have a chance. Pelican is ready to come on. It's not coming on yet. Great smash. Great. It's almost, it almost like a, a left foot nail to Rosenberg. And if you put the ball over the head of Wojtowski, you're smashing the ball off the court and it has to go about maybe, well, at, at him jumping, maybe nine, ten foot, maybe more. Gillick. Oh, lovely. Gillick. Yeah. You 
just good points like that. It almost looked like he waited for too long and then out of nowhere just this absolute burst of pace with the right leg and just smashing across the court. Rosenberg had no chance there. The degree of flexibility is unbelievable. Yeah. All these guys can do the splits, no problem. Gould, uh, I would maybe think about taking Rosenberg off, but they don't have to right now. 3-1 to the Slovaks. Come on, everyone wants to see. Well, not here, but everyone watching at home wants to see a close game. Block from Brutovsky. No. Oh, kept in. Oh, hard luck. Well, that was really amazing. He kept in somehow, but it just wasn't to be. Maybe you're unfamiliar with the sport, but I think that the Tyson should have just headed that over the net. But if you give the ball back to a team with the quality of the checks, they're just going to win the point straight away. Here we go, kill it. That's it. Oh, it's been called out. Controversial. I don't know. Like, you know, he looks out. That's, that's what home advantage does to me. Like, for me, that was it. Maybe. You know, it was very close anyway. The first person that the referee saw was the flying pig putting his hands up for yeah. the signals to yeah, say I wonder how much of an influence that yeah. is. Yeah. Right. Lovely oh, from Killing. Lovely stuff. I feel like the are in the point. 4 match. 3. To Slovaks. Uh, just hold on to this advantage and push to a third set. The seed of doubt will be planted into the check lines. Gabor and Saruman Daniel, each from Hungary and Romania, the referees. Fantastic players in the day, still good players. Probably the best Hungarian player ever. Oh, block from That's the top good. Mm. Here we go, here we go, this is big. Oh, straight into the rock hard chest of the pig. He's kept it in. Beautiful set. Oh! That had to go over from Killick. See Rosenberg has got his hand up, hands on his knees. It's 5-5, five, five, second set. It's a great set, great set. It's one of the best I've seen this year. Killick with the reception. Straight smash from Kowski. Left in by Rosenberg. Here we go. First give it smash. Well read from the flying pig. Here we go. Well done, Kelly. Oh, straight over. Oh, just missed out by Butaski. Here's on the block. Pig versus Butaski. Well done. Yes! Oh, fantastic Look rally. Butaski. Loving that. Fantastic point. It's a great exhibition of foot now. And to take the lead again in the second set, 6 5. Those are probably struggling though, he looks out of breath, doesn't he? Yeah, his hands are on feet after every rally. Substitution. I saw that coming. Oh, time out. Time out. Time out. Rosenberg looking, looks like he's struggling there, Steve Owen. And he's. You know, he's just sprinting around the court like a madman, but he's getting the job done now. He's had, a, he's had an up and down game so far, but like uncharacteristic that he's made two or three mistakes that have led Slovakia back into the match. 
Yeah, usually very solid player. He's had a very it's an up and down game. You can see his quality in the smashes though. Like if he has the opportunity, he wins the point. Yeah. But he's staying on because they the faith in him. Just to see what happens then. Slovakia need this. Six five to Slovakia. Five more points to win the set, bring it to the third set. They have a chance. Czechs look a bit tired. Pressure's on them as well. Did. Smash. Okay, here we go. This is big. Up to the block with the pig. Oh! goes up to the block you can change the mindset of the smasher. If, if there's nobody there for the smasher, he would just have a clear mind and he would just smash it wherever he wants. The fact that the pig went up for that probably changed Brutowski's headspace, put a bit of doubt in there and he hit the net. Absolutely. Oh, oh kill it. Yes. Kill it with an absolutely savage spin. Everyone. Everyone, they were bought and sold, the lads over there. They were the wrong side of the court, but you know, you can't be everywhere. Kilik just exploited the space and put it perfectly across the court, spinning it from the sole of his shoe. So the lads in Dundee laid there earlier because they're on the wrong side, so they're just absolutely sold. <laughs> There's Rosenberg with the smash. Oh, it's not a great set. Oh. oh. It's 8 6 now. Come on, if they can just keep the advantage. Let's, let's see this go to the third set. Everyone, all the neutrals here, from the 24 countries that have been represented, they all want to see a match go to the third set. And it's timeout, obviously enough call by the Czechs. Two point advantage going into this. I don't think a timeout will actually do Rosenberg any good. You know what I mean? I, 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 I'm not picking on Rosenberg, he's an unbelievable player. But it comes to such fine margins that those two or three little mistakes, what might make the difference in this set, and that'll be still on Rosenberg's mind. Let's see, can he pull it through? Let's see, kind of shaking his head a little bit. Plan. They obviously have a game plan, and yeah, they won the first set with that game plan with the same players. So, let's see if they have any answer to the situation from the Slovaks. Okay, here we go. Philip with the serve. Eight six. Three more points to Slovakia. Take the match to the final set. Rosenberg to smash the blocks on. Oh! <laughs> there we go! That's the classic Jan Brutowski there. Unbelievable block. Brilliant stuff. It's just great to watch. of the block. Savage shot. Savage shot. He blocks it so that the ball... He puts his foot down so that the ball bounces in within the court. It's very easy to block it and for the ball to just go out. And look who it is. The pig is off. It's a lot of faith in Rosenberg here. The pig is off and the pelican is on. A pig for a pelican, Steve. -O. It sounds like a strange sort of animal thing. A pig for a pelican. <laughs> Let's see what the pelican can do. Rosenberg back in there. He's back to 9 7 now. Still, two point advantage for the Slovaks. And they will be looking to finish the point off from reception from the serve here. Rosenberg to serve over. And either Kilik or Butowski are gonna have a smash, hopefully, if everything goes right, which it has been going in this set. Rosenberg, the Czech crowd really getting, getting riled up here. Kilik for the smash. Oh, it's not good enough. Here we go. Oh, we didn't know about that. Okay, here we go, advantage check. Pelican with the smash, or is the block? Well read from Kilik. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, very bad position now, Slovaks. Yeah, where, what's he doing? Is he up or down? <laughs> Pelican, unbelievable. Comes in, comes in out of nowhere. It's a timeout for Slovakia. Well called. Pelican comes in out of nowhere, fresh. Well, Jesus Christ, did he do that well? Such under such massive pressure. And he just comes in and does exactly what needs to be done. He came in when it was 
what, 9-6? Nine, 9-8 nine, now. So that you still have the advantage, and I hope that hasn't got to them. They just need two more points. But so often you see the Czech just come back from positions of, of being behind, and it's just, you know, they just, they own this sport at the moment, let's be honest. They just own and everything. They've already won in singles. They're 9-8 down at the moment, and set up they're set up yeah you know realistically if you look at the two ways the back here two points away from taking this from the two third set the Czech Republic at three points away from winning the whole thing oh no oh. there's no no need to say anything about that Back is back on instead of the uh, Killick. Nine nine. Two more points for either team wins the set. Jets have served. Well, Scoop back is in. It's not good enough for Scoop back. Now Rosenberg has the smash. from 9-6 down. The Czech Republic have won four consecutive points. Match Here we point. go. Match point, match point. Set from Wojtowski. Here's... Oh! Yes. Pelican hit the net and also a great smash from Stupak. Such pressure for Stupak to come in like that and just perform perfectly well. You have to win by two points now. You have to win by two points. Yeah, you really do. Went for the big serve. Oh. Oh. It's too bad. Oh. Oh, there you go. Just out of nowhere. What a substitution. An inspired performance so far. It's too bad. Set point is back here, Sutley. Straight back. They can't come back to points. So maybe conceding a set, hopefully, everyone's hoping for it, apart from everyone here, I suppose. Everyone watching it, as a neutral, wants to see this last display. Of course, they go to the third set. It's fine, It's in anyway. Okay. Oh. That's it. Yes! Oh, so I get one to set. We bring it to the third set. Yes. 12-10. Excellent. Sorry for displaying some emotion there. But I just want to see this go to three sets. I don't want this to end. It's fast up. To be honest, it's been a decent performance from all the Slovakians. Kutowski, Stupak, and of course Kilik, who has, I think, made the difference overall. Last year at the European Championship, we were impressed that we noticed that uh, Slovakia lost out to the But Kilik wasn't really there. To be honest, I didn't even notice. I'm sure he played quite well, but he definitely didn't play to the level he's doing right now, you know? That year of development seems to have done the world of good. All of the players playing, of course, for the country's best club, which is Kosice. Kosice also take part in the Interleague. The Interliga is like the Europa League of football. Second best league, I would, I would, I would suggest that it would be. It has teams from Slovakia, Hungary, Poland and the Ukraine. This year they came runners up position, which they wouldn't be happy about because they really should be, be trying to win that, obviously. But the Romanian club, Tango Solanta, they're an unbelievable club too. They've got Bobby, the two Sarian brothers, and Nagy as well, which we saw earlier. Okay, so it's going to a third set. Both teams will be nervous, but the pressure's really on the checks now. Yeah. Absolutely, you've seen a lot of uh, support there for Rosenberg at the break. Oh, it's kept oh, an unbelievable reception. Here we go. Both sides. It's over. Oh, he nearly touched the net. Toski. Still oh, good. Still in. Oh. oh. Wow, that was amazing. So important to get that first point. Momentum. It's with the Slovaks. Won the last set, and now they're a point ahead in the third set. Ten more points, and they're winning. Yeah, it's crazy. Chess from the Pelican. Here's the block. The 
block is no good. Except as that, the Pelican splashes right down the middle. Rosenberg with, with the serve. Stufak set from Rutowski. Oh, it's gone out again. Rosenberg, there's nothing wrong with our Rosenberg down there. I mean, it was a fantastic smash. But you can see the negativity. He's been shaking his head. Yeah, he's not, he's not in really good space at the moment. It's Rosenberg. Oh, here we go. Rutowski keeps it alive. Rutowski is on form at the moment. Okay, he's still alive. Well done from Rosenberg. Excellent from Rosenberg. Two all. Lovely tight contact here. But hopefully it'll go all the, all the way. Rosenberg gets the ball over there. He seems a bit gassed, he seems a bit tired. I will be too. I'm tired watching him. Second half. Not good enough. Still alive. Blocked again. Double touch from Mikowski. Smashed into the net. He just had a crack. Two back up seconds from his knee as well. That's not good. Oh, that is not good. They're going to be forced to take a timeout by the looks of them. If I was two back now, the best thing I could do for my team is go down. The referees are taking a timeout here. Get some uh, attention for Stu back. But that was unbelievable for, from the Pelican. Oh, he's gone. He's receiving, he's receiving something. He's receiving medical attention in Stupak. But the look on his face is all he's not looking good out there. It's an opportunity for Killick to come in, that's what it should be, but he's gone. definitely on. Killick is yeah, Stupak is gone. He's receiving, receiving a round of applause from the uh, from the audience. It's, it's unfortunate. It's been a great spectacle so far. Stupak smashed up with really putting the check under pressure. And unfortunately that's not gonna be the case. <laughs> it's actually very common to have knee injuries in this sport. Yeah. Such an amount of pressure, twisting. Out. The service out from Rosenberg. Out. No. Yeah. It's, unque it's, question it's not even questionable anymore. He's he's not having a great game. No. His standards. By his standards. Yeah, okay, it's oh. too easy. Not great. There we go. Oh, oh. yes. Great smash. Like that they're in the lead, 4-3. Now, that service out from Rosenberg might come back to Haunted because they need every advantage now. What was working for the Slovaks in the second set was Stupak's smash serve was putting them under pressure. Now, Slovakians don't have that in the third set now. And I think they did need that to win this match. They're ahead at the moment, but I'd be surprised if they to see it out. I'm just looking at the Czech bench there and they're all shaking their heads. <laughs> I don't know why. Level again. Talk about hot and cold. He serves it into the net a couple of points ago, and then he just smashes it. He nearly took some young lad's face off with that one. This game can turn around so quick. 4-4. Four, four. Kept it in his rows of Oh, oh a block! Oh, oh. Lovely! Lovely stuff. the spin. That's what we're talking about. He's coming of age, that lad. Playing amazing stuff. Stepping up. Big time. They need every, every he need, needs to get everything right because they don't have that smash serve. So they really do have to win every point that comes back to them. They need to check the arm. They need someone to make a mistake. Will it be Rosenberg here? Not a chance. Even again, five all. in third set so when you reach six points you have to change sides There's no break for the, for the guys six five for the checks the lads didn't even look at each other there when they were walking past each other usually in our an hour 11 irish level you know you'd be nearly talking touching hands these guys just ask him how are you getting on yeah, how are you getting on? what did you have for the dinner these lads are just looking kind of going no I don't want to know you. 
but they know each other very well. They've missed each other in finals for years. They're so focused at this moment. It's a matter of five or six points to win gold in the doubles in the World Championship. Blocked from Potoski, oh. but it's out. So, so close there from Potoski. Great block, but we're talking a matter of inches. 6-6. Six, six. Just kidding. Oh, nearly kept in by Rosenberg, but they have no answer for Killick's smashes and spins. It's unbelievable at the moment. He really is forcing them. It's 7 6 now. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh there it is! Massive in. block. The block is in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a savage block. Time out. The Time out. Oh, this is exactly what we want to see. Eight seconds to slow back. They're three points away from winning the doubles discipline in Putnet here in Brno in the Czech Republic 2016 World Championship. 24 teams have taken part since Friday to Sunday, but only two remain in the doubles category, and it's of course the Czechs versus the Slovaks. Third set, 8 6 to Slovak, yeah. They have deserved It's the power of Hillick, and he is Hillick playing amazing. That, that block from the top is just fast. Wonders for the confidence of a team. We have a big slot. Really drives the team up. Here we go. Three points is all they need. Looks like everybody's ready to go. Rosenberg with the smash. Kept in. This is massive. Oh, they fall on over each other. It's an easy over. Here we go. This is a bad massive position. opportunity. Good smash. Oh, it's not great. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like I thought it hit him again and went over. But that is a massive, massive moment in the match. If they had it. It was an easy over. If they just executed like they've been doing the whole time, it would be fine. There'd be two more points. Here we go. Oh, uh, net. net, here we go. Rotoski is loving it, and he's showing it to the crowd. The crowd are hushed, but apart from the Slovakians, but they're outnumbered about 10 to 1 by the looks of things. You see them at the front row. The crowd are loving this match. It's nice and tight. What you need now is two more points for Slovakia to confirm a victory. 7-9. Rosenberg with the smash. Oh, it's kept in. Rotoski's reading those smashes. Oh. oh, bad. Oh, oh. 9 8. Just like that. The job to done so well to keep that in. Unfortunately, Pinnock just couldn't get across the court quick enough. And it just wasn't good enough. He could not set the ball for Pitoski. Yes! No answer. It's there. It's there. Wow. Personal decision by Rosenberg there to put Potowski, serve it to Potowski so that he's in position to smash it. He got two match points here. moment in the game. You know, Time out. Checks. Time out for the checks and rightly so. He's got two match points here. This is insane. Nobody predicted it. There was always a possibility when you have Potowski on the court. But let's be honest, Stupak and Killick are the boys who are making a difference. They're playing a savage match between the two of them. So unfortunately, Stupak's got an injury. But that'll feel an, all, an awful lot easier on his knee tonight if he has a gold medal around the neck. But also, Bratowski is reaping those smashes from Rosenberg. Yeah. Putting himself in a position where he can smash it back. Yeah. You know, this is massive. Earlier in the game, Rosenberg, any, any proper smash he got, it's an instant point. They kind of sussed them out. Slovakia, so very strong position. Just need one more point to win the game. One hour, the next two will do. It's incredible. Here we go. Wow. Very cool. Very calm. Very composed from Rosenberg. He 
just simply spun the ball the opposite side. The block was on for Butowski. He just couldn't get there quick enough. And now it's one, it's still match point. And this is the big one. They have a chance right now. Here we go. Maybe a bad decision from Butowski to go for the block last time. Oh! Ten, ten. You have to win by two points. Philip has to do it here. He has. Oh. Just like that, it's match point back again. Advantage to the Slovaks. Match point again for Slovaks. So, so chance to win. Match point. Can they do it? It's going to be the pedicle with the smash. because he nearly kept it in. The atmosphere is insane here now. Such a match. This is packed with over 3,000 people. Here we go, 11 all. Straight smash. Oh. oh, he's got it. He's got it. Jesus. No one expected it, and that's why he's done it, in fairness. He smashed straight by the head of Pelican. Rosenberg sprinting across to get it, but he couldn't. Again. Another. For the fourth time, match point to Slovakia. It's obviously difficult to return the ball. It's all about the smash that's going to be coming over now from the chest. Bukowski should not go for block here. Yeah, he goes back. Yeah, he's got the reception now. Bukowski for here smash. Here we go. Oh, he's kept it in. Net. No. No, the ball. Oh, double touch. Tesco smash. Oh, oh my God, Rosenberg. Can he keep it in? Go on. Oh! It's easy over. Oh, in a bad position now. Get it. He does it! Oh, he's there. done it! He's there! And Butas is on the floor! The players are running in. Oh my God! Like, oh my God! I can't believe it! And the crowd are in shock. Pelican falls to the floor, Rosenberg dejected. The Slovaks have taken a massive scalp. It's great for the sport. Slovakia have just beaten the Czechs. Yeah, Vank, it comes out on home track. Oh my, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I can't believe it. I'm delighted for Slovakia. That's not to take anything away from either of the four teams are fantastic there. Slovakia, they deserve a round of applause. I'm going to leave it at that. Only for a couple of minutes, we'll be back with the third place playoff. And the rematch in triples. Czech Republic and Slovakia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got the mistake again. The mascots, they're trying to give a bit of joy to the Czechs, and they are they're distraught. They are distraught. 